And we start with the word of today because it's a great day. And it's margins. It's margins. And boy, have we forgotten that. And boy, have we been hypocritical in the last 24 hours. And we must do better. All right, margins. When you're looking at pro sports across the board, it's a given that you have to have star players. It's also a given that you have to have role players. And what the Sixers needed to do yesterday, they had one major, major goal that they had to accomplish yesterday. And what was that goal? To add a player who would help them this upcoming season on the margins. Nobody, if you noticed, nobody traded for a star player during the draft. Other draft picks were traded, things were traded. But if you notice, no stars. Now, maybe they drafted a star. Like, I think Orlando got it right with the first pick. I think OKC got it wrong with the second pick. I think picks three and four would be pretty good. That's how I think it's going to go in the draft. Um, there'll be some surprises. But if you notice, no one traded a star. You notice uh, Kyrie didn't get moved. Like, stars didn't get moved because yesterday was about, for the good teams, what you do along the margins. And the Sixers had to do one thing. We know their holes. We know that they did not have enough good players to play in the playoffs. Not enough trustable NBA players. And then rather than draft one at 23 overall, which was a crapshoot, and truth be told, a lot of the players that I kind of liked ended up getting taken 16, 17, 18. They started to fall as the draft was going along. Like At, at like 12, 13, even 15, it was like, huh, Sixers might have a, a decent player actually available. Boom, 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 boom. Nope, nope. No, they wouldn't have. Maybe there was an out guy with an outside chance of helping them this year. Nope. So what they did was we knew Danny Green was hurt and older. So he wasn't going to be back. They took Danny Green. They took the 23rd overall pick. Traded to Memphis for Melton, who, by the way, is a good basketball player who will help them this year. And yet there are people who are unhappy. And the worst part about it is they didn't even listen to themselves while they're being unhappy. And that's the part that upsets me the most. Now, let me lay this out. I put it on social media earlier. I Let me lay this out. We'll get Connor's thoughts. I'm, I, I, all right. So when we were talking about P.J. Tucker, people said, oh, he's too old. So then they trade for a player who's 24 years old. He turned 24, I checked, 27 days ago. It's borderline. You can still wish him happy birthday. That's how recently he turned 24 years old. Last I checked, that's not old. He also has played in the league and only makes about $8 million, which and you consider it was $10 million for Danny Green, plus the cost of the pick, you actually saved money in the deal while making your team better. Now, earlier this week, people were calling and saying, well, I want a player, forget P.J. Tucker. I want Gary Payton II. Okay, okay. Now, just since, let's, let's follow me there. Okay, sure. Let's discuss that. He's 24 years old. 24 years old, talking about Mel. Gary Payton II is 29 years old. All right, so I, I, if you want younger, this, this move did that. Um, people are complaining about size. Gary Payton II is 6'3". No, I'm 6'2 with long arms. Gary Payton II averaged 7 points a game. Melton averaged 10 points a game. Gary Payton II shot under 36% from three on less attempts. Melton shot better than 37% from three. There is literally nothing to complain about in Sixers land. We know the offseason's not over, but it's not over for anyone. Yesterday was about the margins. And more and more, I wonder, are we still in the city of Philadelphia, a town that knows basketball, that understands sports, or instead, perhaps we're in the twilight zone? Is that where we are? The Twilight Zone, yes, a place where Philadelphia fans get exactly what they asked for, and yet they're still unhappy. Why? You needed a player who could help you this year. You didn't want a player who was old. He's young. You wanted a player that could make an open three. Why? 
Why? By golly, he can. You wanted a guy who could play defense because they weren't good enough on perimeter defense. What? He's a bet. He's your most athletic guard the moment he shows up. He covers up for the faults that Maxi has on the defensive end. Why? Why all of Philadelphia is overjoyed today, right? Maybe we're not in Philadelphia anymore, people. Maybe, just maybe, we've been teleported to a place far, far away where logic and reason no longer matters. Perhaps we are once again in the Twilight Zone. 610-632-0975. I don't understand this. I'm not saying this move now makes the Sixers NBA champions. But no move made yesterday will make someone an NBA champion this season. Now, if you want to say somebody at the top of the draft will lead eventually. I really like what the Pistons are doing, for example. And maybe eventually they have Detroit basketball and they're doing their thing and they win a title again. But no individual move made yesterday changed the fortunes of a title team yesterday. But you know what the Sixers did? They did what they had to do. They got better. The player's young, can make a three. He's athletic. He's literally everything we said we wanted. And still there's people upset about it. Connor, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I had no issue with the move. I don't understand why people had issues with the move. I don't know what they wanted to see happen because we came into this offseason knowing the limitations of even doing what they just did, which is making the bench better. It was already hard enough to make moves like the ones they made yesterday. That was already a struggle because the move they made yesterday probably wasn't even the first move they were trying to make and they probably found out that Matisse Thibel, who they were actively shopping, doesn't have enough value around the league for them to actually do something. So this is an ancillary move, and it still made them better. What I don't understand what you're worried about. 